All right, Justin, the uh, big boy toy builder, looking to get rid of some clutches. I got some spare clutches. I'm gonna get out the sun here. But uh, this one here, this is a one-inch bore. It only mounts outboard. It's a t shit. I believe it's a Noram Mini clutch. Yeah, it's a Nora Mini Clutch because it only it only mounts outboard. Um, the Star Clutch you can mount inboard or outboard, you know. But uh, it's up for sale. When I got it, it was like two eighty nine. I think I just checked online, and um, the prices it actually dropped off of Comet Clutch Racing for like like a hundred bucks off of this thing, which will be a loss to me. But you know that's all right. If it's going down, it's going down. It's got all new springs. The springs are set at um. Th this is on the alcohol builder, so. I mean, they're probably like 2,200 RPM engagement springs, maybe maybe like 18, but I'm pretty sure they're up there. Um, but yeah, it's, runs good, man. Make me an offer if someone's looking for one. They're badass for, and it's hard to find one-inch bore clutches that are good. These here are all roller bearings. They're not like the max torque clutches or anything like that. They're badass. And this here is a fist pack. <laughs> Not really. Um, God, how would I even explain this? This is a Norum clutch with double clutch shoes. Like most of the clutches you buy, the GE and the clutches, they've, they've got this one and this one. Well, as you can see, that thing, it's like, see how far back in there my finger is? It's double wide. So there's a set here of two clutch shoes and a set here of uh, two clutch shoes. Now, this clutch, I believe, was mass-produced a long time ago. Um, I was, I found it online, a picture of it, and uh, I went to Mr. Albritton in Tampa from Albritton Racing, or Albrighton Racing, however you pronounce it, and I kind of explained to him what I was looking for, and he had never heard of it, but he's got a really close relationship with Norham, or Norham, Noram, Noram, whatever it's called, and he was able to call him and let him know what I wanted in a... Yeah, I don't know if they made it. It looked machine when I got it. I mean, it was still pretty fresh. But I don't know if they made it or just had one and sent it to me. But I paid almost 400 bucks for this thing. Um, and it is a monster clutch. Like I said, it's like a GE clutch, Norum GE clutch. But it's got two sets of pads. You can see the first one here, here, and here. The other one's right inside a little farther. But this thing is awesome, man. It's got so much torque. It can handle probably 30, 40 horsepower easy. It's three quarter inch shaft. It can be mounted inboard. Like say you're, uh, yeah, let's say, if you guys don't know inboard and outboard, see this is my shaft right here. This would be considered mounting outboard with the teeth outside of the motor. And this would be considered mounting inboard. So it could be mounted either way. Some of you that have torque converters, you need to be able to mount it inside, you know. But yeah, it's also for sale. Um, I honestly don't know what it's worth. I know how much I paid for it, and I know you're really not going to find one. And unless you was into go-kart racing probably some years ago, because the picture, like I said, that I, I had seen and went and explained to Mr. Norham, and it looked like an older picture. But, uh, yeah, he was able to get it done for me, and I really appreciate that. This thing is, it is a monster. It's all on roller bearings, too. I mean, for any of you guys that are heavy, you big boys, don't want torque converters because they have you know, slip and you got belt problems and little spring problems and stuff. If you're looking for a simple alternative that doesn't get hot, stays cool, lots of torque, there you go, man. That's it. It's a monster. Like I said, I got this one too. This the, the mini cup clutch. It's just like the star clutch, but the, the clutch shoes, I believe, are a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bit smaller. I mean, you can't even tell. Actually, I got a mini cup clutch or a star clutch shoe right here. And these are mini cup clutches, but it is a little bit tinier. I'm going to replace it before I sell it. I just stuck it in there so I didn't lose it, which was a pain because it's hard to get them springs in and out. But anyways, yeah, it's up for sale. If you guys are interested, let me know.